This is Matt Ayton with Go Engineer. This quick tip video covers how to model J slots. These are geometries created with fourth axis machining operations. To do this, we model the cutting tool and its path. This tutorial assumes you're well versed in basic modeling techniques and can create a cylinder with a plane tangent to its curved face. Several other basic steps are not shown in this tutorial as well. My cylinder is tangent to the top plane, which is where the first sketch we examine in this tutorial was created. This sketch includes a slot created with the center point arc slot tool and a vertical line. The line orients the arc with a tangent relation and represents the straight portion of the toolpath. This sketch is not used for a 3D feature, but to help create our next sketch. The next sketch is also on the top plane. It's used in a wrap feature that transfers the sketch onto the cylindrical face. The slot's center line and the straight line from the prior sketch are duplicated using convert entities. The wrap feature requires a closed profile, very much like the basic features such as extrude and revolve. To get a closed profile, I converted the inner circular arc of the slot, drew a line parallel to the straight line, and close the ends with straight lines. This wrap feature employs the scribe option. This splits the cylindrical face into two coincident faces. Rather than cutting into it as with the deboss or generating a protrusion with the emboss, the result looks like this. This new face allows creation of the actual toolpath by converting two of its perimeter edges into 3D sketch entities, again using convert entities. The result looks like this. For clarity, I've added a reference plane that I'll sketch the tool profile on. The references for the plane are the cylindrical face and the vertex at the junction between the straight and curved portions of the toolpath. The sketch for the tool itself is just a circle, centered on the same point I used for the reference plane. This sketch will be used for several features. The first feature is a simple extrude cut with the mid-plane end condition. The next step is key to this technique. A curve-driven pattern duplicates the cut. The cut is patterned along the curved portion of the toolpath. The important parameters for the pattern are the large number of instances, 100 in this case, and the alignment method, which is tangent to curve. This allows us to designate the cylindrical face of the model as the face normal. This changes the angle of the cut continuously over the span of the toolpath. The feature to pattern is the extrude cut. The result looks like this. The next step is to create an extrude boss, again from the tool sketch. The only special consideration for this is to not merge the result, creating a new separate solid body. The new tool body is then used in a swept cut. The swept cut feature uses the solid sweep option. The path is the straight portion of the toolpath. The result looks like this. For illustration and added realism, I've also cut out the center to create a pipe and added another tool body. This has been Matt Ayton with Go Engineer. Thank you for watching.